Christy, thank you. So near and yet so far, oyster sanctuaries are currently off limits to watermen, and they'd like at least limited access. Alex Dimitri reports that wish is now getting some serious consideration. Oyster sanctuaries start here with recycled shells, each carrying microscopic baby oysters called spat. They are then deposited on oyster reefs where harvesting is forbidden. 24% of Maryland's oyster reefs are in sanctuaries. Over the past five years, it basically has caught cost watermen probably around $20 million, I would say. In oysters, they are not allowed to catch and sell. But a plan under consideration would open up 1,000 acres of oyster sanctuaries with harvests once every four years. Where they can harvest certain areas like one year, but then give it off for three or four years. Um, and then they just kind of rotate through that specific area. Watermen say they would plant new oysters in the sanctuaries first, years before a harvest would start. And then after those four years, we would open them up and we would start our harvest, which we say we need that. We need that economic balance because we've suffered so much. The opening up of the sanctuaries is a big concern for us. Allison Colden is a fisheries scientist with the Chesapeake Bay Foundation. It's the only place where we can develop things like large oyster populations with multiple ages of oysters on them, as well as places where we can foster resistance to disease. In a way, environmentalists and watermen are both looking for the same outcome. We want a cleaner Chesapeake Bay with more oysters in it. Alex Dimitri, WJZ Eyewitness News. Right now, an oyster management plan is in the early stages with all proposals just that. Proposals that might or might not win acceptance.